Hello everyone, my name is Susana Campos. I will be doing a presentation on a notable minority in U.S. history and his name is Macario Garcia. To follow up, I will be discussing some things about Macario Garcia. He was born in Villa de Castaño in Mexico on January 2nd, 1920. He had nine brothers and sisters. He grew up in Sugarland, Texas, where he worked as a cotton farmer in Texas at a very young age. Um, on November 11th, 1942, at the age of 22, Macario was drafted to the United States Army and shipped up to Europe to be part of the fight to end World War II. Macario at War, World War II, act of valor, Macario fought for his country, the United States. He shed blood, sweats, and tears and was injured multiple times during this war. Um, Macario fought until the objective was taken, and only then he permitted himself to be removed from for medical care. Um, on the picture to your right, there's Macario and President Truman. Some of the recognition medals Macario received for fighting in our World War II um, Macario received the Medal of Honor, which was presented to him by President Harry S. Truman. He received also the Purple Heart and the Bronze Star, all signifying his valor for fighting for the United States of America. After Makari received his medals, his awards for his valor in combat um, versus Europe, during that time, um, he went home, home to reality in the 20th century as we know, uh, Macario lived during the 20th century, where the times of racism and discriminations were at their peak. He found himself battling racism in an incident that occurred in a small cafe called Oasis Cafe in Richmond, Texas, um, where there he got really agitated because he was denied service by the owners, and they told him, we don't serve Mexicans here, and he got really defensive. Post-altercation at the cafe, um, soon after Macario got released from his charges for aggravated assault at the Oasis Cafe in Texas, he became a United States citizen. He married Alicia Reyes in June 25, 1947, and had a total of three children. Uh, Macario obtained a job as a counselor in the Veterans Association, also known as the VA, where he stayed and worked hard for 25 years. On December 24, 1972, Macario got into a car accident. From the injuries he sustained from the accident, he passed away, leaving his three children and his wife. Um, Houston City Council changed the name of their 69th Street to Sergeant Macario Garcia Drive in 1981. In 1983, Vice President George Bush dedicated Houston's new Macario Garcia Army Reserve Center. Also, Texas named a middle school called Macario Garcia Middle School in Sugarland, Texas, in 1994 in Garcia's honor. Um, Garcia was buried in National Cemetery in Houston, Texas. In conclusion, um, Macario Garcia was my choice in lesser known notable American history because he has played such an important role in creating the history behind our great country. Um, through Macario, we learned how difficult it, it is and was for minorities in the 20th century to fight for their rights as Americans. Uh, the color of one's skin was a factor of being discriminated against, regardless of what your economic or work field status was in. Macario Garcia was always and has always been a major part of American and Mexican history it is time for him to get more recognition for what he has done to contribute to this country. And that's my presentation on Macario Garcia. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy this presentation.